Ted Cruz, RTX, and Senator Mike Lee, RUT, criticized Yale Law School officials for the school's response to the March 10 protest of a Federalist Society event. Addressed to Yale Law School Dean Heather Gerken, as well as to Law School Associate Deans Ellen Cosgrove, Mike Thompson, and Dean Ayers, the letter calls on the administrators to disavow the behavior of student protesters and take appropriate disciplinary actions in keeping with Yale's free speech p. For two law students interviewed by the news, the conservative majority among the signatories suggests that the letter represents a partisan attack to silence opposition under the guise of protecting free speech. The letter was drafted by the authors of the Philadelphia Statement, a document released in August 2020 that emphasizes the importance of free speech to American political society. According to the Philadelphia Statement's website, the document affirms coexistence rather than division within a cancel culture in which people and groups of goodwill are too often demonized or blacklisted simply for expressing their views. A representative of the Philadelphia Statement told T. Our nation desperately needs the next generation of attorneys, legislators, judges, and Supreme Court justices to be marked by the character and values that undergird the American legal profession and a free society. Law school spokesperson Deborah Krosner declined to comment on the open letter. The letter is the latest response to the March 10 student protest of a Federalist Society event that hosted constitutional lawyer Kristen Wagoner, who serves as the general counsel for the Alliance Defending Freedom, a conservative Christian legal advocacy organization which has been classed as a H. Wagoner was invited to discuss her role in Oswig Bonham v. Preksevsky, a recent U.S. Supreme Court decision concerning First Amendment rights, alongside the American Humanist Association associate Monica Miller. Despite their opposing political views, the two came down on the same side in a Supreme Court case. Since the protest, more than half of the student body of the law school, over 400 students, have signed an open letter condemning the presence of armed police at the protest and criticizing the Federalist Society's decision to offer Wagoner a platform. The question of disciplining student protesters has been a hotly contested one, 